Hello guys, welcome back to episode 2 of my new series, The Rise of the Exiles. It is me, Bad Jokes FM, back at you once again with a brand new video. And as you guys can see, it is day 1 of the new League 2 season and we are at home to Mansfield Town. And pre-season has been quite good for us. We've had a decent pre-season, we've not lost any games. But also we've not won that many, we've only won the one game. But it's only pre-season, it's just about getting fitness up and at least our defence for most games is looking sturdy, is looking solid. And to help us with our season, I've brought in a few players on loan, which I'm going to show you guys now. We have got Josh Pask on loan from West Ham. He looks a pretty decent central defender. As you can see there, first touch 12, technique 11, acceleration and pace 14 for both. So I think we've got a good sign in there. We're paying nothing for him, no wages, no anything. So that is good. And uh, as is the case with most of these players, in fact, all of these, apart from Dre White, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I will get onto him in just a moment. But also in on loan, we've got Anthony Giorgio. If, if I've pronounced that wrong, I apologise. Can someone please tell me in the comments below how to pronounce that properly? And again, he's got acceleration 15, pace of 13. And technique 11 so he's so he's a good little player he'll he'll run at people and hopefully down at this level that was that will scare teams and then we've got a couple on loan from man city we've got rodney congolo 18 years old dutch on loan from manchester city and he looks really good he's got acceleration 13 stamina 15 jumping reach 14 bravery 13 teamwork 14 I think he is really going to stand out down at this level. And we've got a mate of his joining him who I'm really excited about. He is a player I've used in the championship before on this year's game and he's done quite well. So I'm quite excited to have him down here at League 2. Again, got him absolutely nothing. So what on earth can possibly go wrong? He's got finishing of 13, dribbling 11, composure of 13, flair 13, acceleration 14. And natural fitness 13 and pace stamina and strength that's all 12 so i think at just 19 this this young this young french star is going to be really good for us and joining him in the team is sam hart from liverpool quite a decent left fullback the stats don't really say too much there about him but his current ability is three and a half star his potential ability is four maybe five star for this level so i'm really happy that we've been able to bring him in and also we've got Kyle Scott, a young American from Chelsea, 18 years old. But I think for an 18 year old, those stats are not are not anything to be sneezed at. He does look very good there. So I'm thinking I will get, get a lot out of him. And then we've got Nathan Broadhead, who can play all over the attacking positions. And he looks really good on loan from Everton. And he's 18 years old, he's Welsh, so he's coming back to his native land for a season. And let's hope we can get the most out of him. And also we've got, like I said, the only loan player we're paying any money for, and that's Dre White. I think that's how you pronounce it. We've got who's got dribbling eleven, acceleration thirteen, stamina twelve. I brought him in mainly because on the right hand side of midfield we are very very light, and so I was just trying to find anybody who I could bring in, and he looks like he looks like he could do a job for us. We are only paying four hundred pound a week. Well, that's 400 pound a week uh, playing and 400 a week not non-playing so i think it works out at about one and a half grand a month which is not terrible which is not awful and we, we can afford that because as you can see here we we do still have two and a half grand available in the wage budget and i have got some other loans some other loan deals coming in and so hopefully by the time by the time the next episode comes out i will have them completed and i'll be able to show you who else i've got bringing in but as for today, as for game one, this is a team I've gone with for today. We've got Day in goal. We've got Hart, Toza, Pask and Rose as our defence. And then in midfield, we've got Owen Evans. We've got Scott, Congolo and Rig as our midfield. And then up top, we've got Ambrose playing the false nine role. And we've got Bird playing as a target man. And let's get on to today's game and hope we can get three points. Just saying there that a few players are lacking in match sharpness, but it's early on in the season they're going to be I'm just squad number to figure out for Carl Scott 33 all the threes 
And the media prediction is Mansfield are a good side and I think they have enough quality to see off the challenge of Newport. Well, let's hope that whoever that guy is is wrong and we can, and we can pick up the win. And I'm just going to say to the boys that I'm just going to encourage them. I'm just going to say, just come on lads, show me what you can do. And a few of them look delighted. And now let's crack on with the game. It's the start of the game. It's Bird to Scott to Pask. And just starting nice and slowly here. First 10 seconds. And it's just a bit intercepted there. Uh, if you guys have anything you think I can improve on in these videos or anything in the tactics, please just let me know. As like I say, I am just still starting. Still first couple of weeks. And this is something I would really like to get good at. So if you have any guys any guys comments so please let me know as Mansfield are on the attack and that's been stopped by day out to Hemmings ah oh, and that is an awful start Ashley Hemmings with the goal that is not how I wanted this season to start especially with how solid our defence has been in the pre-season games <sighs> not a good start at all it has been said that this is going to be a struggle for us we are 100 to 1 to win the league, which I think puts us about 17th, 18th in the league, if I, if I remember correctly. As we see the goal here, Day comes out, tries to clear it, just ends up spooning it just straight to Hemmings. And then with an open goal, anybody could score that. And let's hope we can get back into this. As it's now Hemming to pick up the ball. Back on the halfway line to Collins. Forward to Hawkins. To Whiteman. And thankfully nothing happens from that attack. But it does early on seem to be all Mansfield here. Uh, let's just hope we can get something out of this. As it's green. Back to Dow. To Whiteman. Whiteman just trying to take on a few men here. And gets it to Byram. To Whiteman. To Dow. With a little bit too much space. And Day. With a decent stop there. I'd have preferred for him to catch that really. But it goes out for the corner. And in the in the corner comes. Congolo heads it away for another corner. And here we go again. Take two. It's Benning with the ball whipped in. And Pask heads it away. And then it's Benning again on the outside. Nope. He just lets it go out for a throw in. And so, wow, look at those stats. I don't know if you saw them just then. Six shots to Mansfield so far. None for us. And Dow makes it 2-0. 20 minutes gone. I am already considering making changes here. I'm just going to make a couple of slight tactical tweaks. Because this has not started well at all. I'm going to go hit early crosses. Clear ball to flanks. And play wider. And just more direct passing. And yeah, just going to see if that can do anything for us and try and get us back into this. Yeah, 2 0 down. And hopefully those tweaks will help us get something out of this. And the goal, it was green, sliding it across to Dow. A day doing a very poor job of keeping the ball out there. I think I might be looking for a new goalie after this. Especially if those first 20 minutes or anything to go by. It's Hemmings to Benning. To Pask who heads it away. Evans no knocks it inside to Scott. To Evans. And Evans trying to take on his man but he's unsuccessful. And Mansfield again with the ball. We have not got anywhere near outside of our own half so far. And wow, Mansfield through again. And just wide, thank God for that. Just have a quick look at the stats here. Eight shots so far, none for us. As Bird, get, Bird gets the ball. And back to Rose, who crosses it in. And Rose, just wide. Finally, 27 minutes into the game, and we finally get a shot. If we can keep it at 2 0 till half time, I do fancy us to try and get something back because it can't go much worse than this, can it? Surely. As it's Mansfield to Byram, to Whiteman, to Dow, 
to Green, back to Byram, to Whiteman. Whiteman plays the ball through and it's Green and it's wide. Very poor attempt there, thank God. Their defence is just getting far too much space, far too much time to do whatever they want to do. And then it's McDonald, crosses the ball in and it's headed away by Ben Tozer. And it's Hemmings into Whiteman. And it plays a bit of ping pong there and it goes over the wall, over the goal, sorry. It's a very poor start from us. I think I'm going to have to get into the lads at half time. As Ambrose now on the counter attack, what can he do? He goes for another long shot. That's ridiculous shooting from there. Then it's Rose with our throw in. It gets intercepted. Just, just about sums up our first half, I think. Let's just hope we can, we can keep keep this at two 0 till half time. It's Whiteman to Dow to Green. And another poor long shot there from their side. Just five minutes now. Come on, lads. Hold on. Only 39% of possession we've had at home. That is really poor. I am going to be changing something at half time. Green. Oh, far too easily for Dave. Thank God for that. If we can have more shots like that, I'll be a happy boy. And just coming up to half time now. We've only had the two shots, both of them off target. This has not been good enough at all. And again, that's another header that, header that has gone wide. Just another 20 seconds now of the first half. And I think that is going to be it. And yes, it is. And let's just go into the tactics and see what I can change. I think I'm going to go for a tough 4 2 3 1 wide. It's working so well for them that why can't it work for us? Just change them to about. That makes that a little bit better. And I just take Bird off. Let's see who's available. Mark Randall. Yep. I think I'll go for him, but not as a not as a second shadow striker. I'll go advanced playmaker. In fact, no Scott's already. Uh, yeah, I'll go advanced playmaker for Randall. And I will just try and sit Scott back. I think to a deep line playmaker. On defend so we just try and stop this from getting any worse I am gonna rip into the boys here because that has really not been good enough and that's got them fired up so let's hope they show that now in this second half as at the start is Benning plays the ball forward but Scott intercepts and that's already one more interception I think than we had in the whole of the first half and possession is getting a little bit better as now we've got a free kick, it's Thierry Ambrose, just over the bar. Yeah, that's our third shot of the game. But it's still our third one off target, really not good enough. Uh, yeah, possession, still not very good for us. This has just not been a very good first game. Maybe it's taken the lads a little bit of, a little bit of time just to get used to the new system. Maybe I should have started with a 4 2 3 1 just to counter what they was going with. As now it's Scott with a free kick, hits our own man and comes back to him. And now what can he do with the ball? And you can do not a lot of it at the moment, but we keep hold of it as he plays it to Rose, to Hart, and just nothing happens from there. Yeah, they've had more shots on target than we've had shots in, jo in total. Really not been very good. And it's Dow and Day catches it. Again, just going to make some tactical tweaks now. Just see what I can change. Uh, I'm going to say I'm going to say retain possession, but with a higher tempo and play it wide. Right, and actually, I'm going to keep it balanced. Keep, keep the defensive line deep. And I'm going to go for float crosses in. And I'm going to tell the team to roam from possessions but dribble less. And let's see if that can do anything. As it's old McDonald with a throw in. And it's Whiteman to Byram. On the edge of our box. Just keeping hold of it for the moment. 
Not really threatening too much as he gets it to Hemmings. To Byram and that's a long shot just, just wide. Please guys, just get one goal back. That's all we need from this game. Just to give us a little bit of confidence, a little bit of hope going forward. As now it's Hart to Rig. To Scott. Forward to Randall. Randall, sorry. Then it's Ambrose. It's Thierry Ambrose all alone. What can he do with the ball? Nothing. He does need some help. We've got Green to Yusuf. Back to Dow. To McDonald. And that's 3 0. This has not been good at all. Hopefully this is just an early season blip and this is not going to be a repeat of the Brentford save. This is Dow to McDonald and just in at the near post. We do need a better goalkeeper. I think it is being shown here. Uh, 10 minutes left. Just to get one shot on target would be nice. Five minutes left, two minutes left, and nope. Doesn't seem like we are going to get a single shot on goal. And well, and well, Newport have had a hard time of it in real life. But hopefully I can do a little bit better than what they did. I don't want to be surviving on, on the last day. As entertaining as that would be for you guys, I don't think my heart could take that. And yep, there goes the full-time whistle. Finishes 3-0 at home. Very disappointing. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to tell the lads. I'm not happy. It's motivated a few of them. And so let's hope we can improve upon that for the Millwall game. And that is the game I'm going to bring to you in a moment. See you in a minute. Hello guys, welcome back. Here is game two from, from today's episode. The EFL Cup game against Millwall. As you can see, the media prediction is that Millwall should be thrashing us, really. But let's hope we can get a, get a better performance than what we had the other day. And here's the team for today's game. We've got Day in goal, still because it's, it has only been a few days. Ha ha ha. Only, so not been able to get another goalkeeper in. But I have got a few deals in the pipeline, which hopefully might see one or two other goalkeepers come in. And then we've got Hart, Tozer, Pask and Rose all keeping their places in defence. We've got Congolo and Scott in, in the middle of midfield. We've got Georgiou, Bojau, I think that's how you pronounce it, and then Broadhead, just behind Thierry Ambrose up front on his own. And let's just see, hope we can get something out of this game. And yeah, I'm just going to say, I'm just gonna, just gonna say to the team, we are the underdogs. Just no pressure, go out there and just do whatever you can. I am going to tell the team to attack because it is a cup game. And I do always think that in cup games, if you don't attack, you are more likely to lose. And so here we go. We've got Broadhead out wide. And he's, just, he's been fouled by Tony Craig. And I really do hope we can win this game. I always, always hate losing to Millwall. I would not be able to stand it if we lost to Millwall. As Ben Tozer is just a caught offside there. That's already a decent better 40 minutes 40 seconds than what we had in the first game so let's hope that is a good sign and just a yellow card there for one of their players as day lobs the ball forward Giorgio nope can't get onto that but Scott does get hold of the ball to Congolo in a little bit of space through to Ambrose who has a long shot what is it with my players always having long shots if any of you guys that are watching this can please let me know down in the comments I would love to know, because I do really want to stop stop my players having shots from 2,000 miles away. But it's us on the attack again. It's Broadhead to Toza to Scott. Back to Hart. What can he do with the ball? He can play it forward to Scott again. To Conglo again in a little bit of space. And it hits their man and goes into no man's land. And then it's Craig with the ball. Lobs it forward. And Morrison gets it before our man. Quite disappointing. But Gregory lobs it wide onto onto Onya Dinma. I hope I haven't got to pronounce his name again. And we're one 0 down again early. Steve Morrison. Uh, commentary saying there might have been suspicions of offside. We'll just now have a look at that. 
in the highlight. Really disappointing to be down 1-0 to Millwall this early on. As Onion Dima plays the ball. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure if that was. But it doesn't matter if it was or not. They are 1-0 up. But we have started better than what we did in the last game. But hopefully going behind won't damage our morale that much. As that's just a free kick there, that goes over the bar. 50-50 on the possession, so that's better than, than, the, than the last game, thank God. As it's Bojo to Thompson, to O'Brien. Morrison. Morrison wins the ball and passes it out wide to Gregory. And then Rose nicks the ball back off him. Yes, he does. Gets it forward to Ambrose. And hopefully we can get an attack going here. Ambrose still running with the ball. Because it takes off him far too easily. But Broadhead recovers. And now he needs a little bit of help here. Is anyone going to give him it? Oh, he doesn't need it. He finds Congolo to Scott. And he tries playing it to Georgia. But the passing is just awful. As that's another long ball they've attempted. But we've intercepted. It's Hart to Giorgio. To Ambrose. To Bojow. And he suits. Oh, and just over the bar. Oh, I really thought that was going to be a goal for us. Giorgio with a header. Off the line from Archer. Ambrose Broadhead. Oh, it is all us at the minute. Surely we can get a goal now. Giorgio with a cross. Oh, it's headed away. And I think that's going to be the end of the highlight. No, Scott says no. Giorgio. And Thompson clears it. Ah, oh, How did we not score then, guys? But that is a very good sign. Two shots on target just in that attack. As it's Scott playing the ball... And Congolo with a header. Oh, it's off the line again. And Congolo with a ball. And he plays it out. But it takes a deflection and goes back to our man Pask. To Toza. To Scott. To Broadhead in mountains of space. But he doesn't do anything, Congolo. Giorgio shoots. Ah, oh, and must have taken the bubble on its way through to their keeper. But this is all us at the moment. Please let us take advantage of this and get a goal before half time. It's Cooper to Gregory. Hits the post. And it's out for a goal kick for us. Come on guys. We've got 20 minutes before half time. We can get back into this. As it's another long ball. Ambrose nods it back to Scott. To Giorgio. Giorgio running at their team. To Congolo. What's he going to do? Well, he tries to find Broadhead but Craig gets there first. And Hart intercepts for us. Very, very a 50-50 game. Very end-to-end -end at the moment. As it's Giorgio out wide. What can he do? To Congolo. Congolo passes. No, I want him to pass the ball. I think if he'd pass it to Broadhead there, would have got in. But um, this is definitely giving me more encouragement than what the first game did. If we carry on playing like this, I think this may be the formation I settle down with. As I think that was one of the problems with the previous save. Is that I just cut and changed my formation too much. I have got to show a bit of faith to one formation. And get the team to learn that and get comfortable with that. As Day now has the ball. He lobs it forward into absolutely nowhere. He must be blind to be kicking the ball there. As it's our, our man Pask intercepting it. What can he do? He clears it but only as far as a Millwall man. Onto Onion Dima who lobs it over the bar. Just 1-0 down. I'm not too disappointed. I think we have looked at least equal to Millwall. And so hopefully at some point we can get one chance to get a goal back. As Onion Dima picks up the ball. He keeps it but that is an awful pass from him. And Toza gets it back to Day. Oh, just a little bit nervous there. I thought Day might fall over it. But he clears it to Ambrose. But doesn't go as far as him. But Broadhead. But a great pass through to Ambrose. Ambrose all alone. And again that's a poor shot. Archer is having far too much of an easy day of it now. We had that one flurry. And although we have looked as good as Millwall. We've not looked as good in, a, in an attacking sense yet. But it's Bojaz. With the ball to Broadhead. To Bojaz. To Congolo. To Bojaz, to Giorgio, with a shot and miles wide. But at least we're not out of this game so far, guys. And every time they seem to lob the ball forward, we seem to 
be winning the second ball, which is always nice to see. And it's George Yu to Scott to Conglo. There he goes with a long shot. I think I'm going to change Ambrose to a poacher at the end of the half because I think that might explain some of some of the long shots. But if there is if there is another explanation, please just let me know down in the comments. As we're just now approaching half time, it's Day with a long ball forward, and Giorgio, but nope, Romeo intercepts it and it goes back to our man, Toza, Giorgio, Bojaz, Ambrose, Giorgio, to Scott, to Conglo again in a little bit of space. He goes for a shot off the bar. Oh. So close there to equalising just before half time. Definitely some signs here of encouragement. As it's Rose with a throw in to Bozaz. Back to Rose who crosses the ball in but goes nowhere apart from Cooper. And it's passed with the ball in our own half to Toza. To Congolo. And Congolo, what can he do? He can get it to Bozaz. And he, he does nothing with it. But Congolo with a long shot it's in. What a goal. What a goal from Congolo. 35 yards out. Cannot wait to see this on the highlight. Struck from absolutely nowhere. And just let us have a look at this here. The ball deflects off the middle man to Congolo. Only one thing in his mind. Striking it from absolutely nowhere. And what a goal. What a brilliant goal there to get us level. On the stroke of half time. And surely now all the momentum is with us. And we can go out there and win this. Second half starting now. More of the same. Would be beautiful. And it's Williams to Morrison to Gregory. And it's intercepted there by Rose to Broadhead. And Broadhead with the ball now. With long ball forward. And it's Ambrose trying to get onto it. Can he get onto it? No he can't. Archer just gets to it before Ambrose. But yeah, what a strike that was. And it definitely looks like we are the team that wants to win this more. Winning this game and getting a nice big Premier League team in the next round would be nice. Maybe someone like my team, West Ham. That would be lovely. And then it's their man, Thompson, who's just nicked the ball. Back to O'Brien. And Toza wins it there. We really are all over these. It's Ambrose with the ball to Giorgio. To Scott. To Congolo. To Buzzaz, to Congolo. Congolo, what can he do with it? He can get it to Broadhead. He, he suits. Oh, and Archer parries it, and it somehow goes out to a, goes out for a corner for us. We are all over these. Come on, one goal now. I I think this is a case of next team to score wins, as it's Thompson who heads the ball away, and it's our throw in. If we can keep these penned in, I will be happy. And just Hart now with a throw in to Buzzaz, to Congolo. Congolo out wide, is it going to be? He's just keeping hold of it for now. Yep, out wide to Broadhead. Broadhead, oh, just nicked by Craig. As Thompson lobs the ball forward, and that should be our man to get hold of it. But it's not. Gregory's stolen it there. And he crosses the ball in, and Day catches it on the line. Millwall, dirty, dirty, chill, cheating Millwall. I try to say the ball crossed the line there, but it, I think all of us know that it didn't. And so it's us on the attack. Broadhead to Bojaz. Bojaz with the ball to Giorgio. To Congolo. With his long shot again, but Lightning doesn't seem to be striking twice here today. And just coming up to 60 minutes now, I'm starting to think of making a couple of changes. Thierry Ambrose, I might take him off. He's not really done too much with the chances he's had. But before any of that can happen, we've got O'Brien on the ball and we're behind again. Ah, oh, we did not take our chance when we had all the momentum. And even the commentary is saying that they could and should have done better there. We will see on the highlight. As here it is, it's Gregory just with a long, well not really a long ball forward, a medium range ball forward. Through to O'Brien and yeah. Yeah, Day is not having the best day of his life, is he really? He really is going to struggle to get into the team when some of my new goalkeepers show up. As he plays the ball forward long. 
They get headed back to Congolo to Broadhead, who I think I think has been decent today. And it's to Scott, to Bozaz, to Congolo, to Scott, to Giorgio. What can he do? He can't do much. As Toza heads the ball, but he goes backwards. And it's Hart who intercepts it. Thank God for that. Hart today to Congolo, to Scott, to Giorgio. Giorgio with the ball to Scott, to Congolo in space again. Ambrose, Broadhead. Broadhead, what's he going to do? He's been challenged very tightly here. As he's fouled by Craig, and that could be Craig's second yellow card. And is it? Referee's just walking over to him now. He's having a word with him, and yes, he's gone. Tony Craig is off. And yes, that is a great, great moment for us now. Surely now we, we can go and grab an equaliser. It's Scott to Buzzaz. Actually, I'm going to make some changes at the end of this highlight. Ambrose with a shot and Archer saves. And Archer just with the ball. He lobs it forward. And yep, I'm just going to make a couple of changes now, guys. It's going to tell us to play higher tempo and to play the ball wider. As that is something I think I've heard that you should do when you are playing against 10 men. I'm just going to keep everything else the same. And just give it five minutes to see if that changes us for us, changes anything for us. And it's Bojaz to Ambrose. Ambrose to Scott to Giorgio. Giorgio passes the ball to Congolo. Congolo goes for another long shot and that's over the bar. And just like I say, just going to give it five minutes just to see if we can change anything. It is going to be all us now for the next 25 minutes, I hope. As it's Scott to Giorgio. Giorgio, can he get past his man? Doesn't look like he can. He passes the ball to Scott, the American. Back to Hart. To Scott. To Bozaz. To Congolo. Please just pass the ball. Pass the ball. Oh, and he hasn't. I think it's time to be making some changes. Yeah, Ambrose is not had the best day, but he's not really had too much service, to be fair to the fella. And so I'm going to take him off for Samuel. And Samuel's best role is a defensive forward. Yeah, which I think I'm going to leave him at. And I think I'm going to bring on Mark Randall, see what he can do for us. Yeah, Bojaz, he set up Congo's goal. But I think you'll agree, Congo's goal just came out of nowhere. And so I'm going to put him in instead of Flo. And Randall, his best position there is... Well, he's not really got one there. I'm going to go for advanced playmaker. And just see if we can get anything out of him. And just 20 minutes left. If we can take this extra time, I'll be happy. Don't really want to be losing to a 10-man Millwall. We have had the more shots, and we've had more shots on target. So by all accounts, we should really be at least drawing this game. And let's hope we hope that is what we can do. As it's Thompson with the ball for them, to Martin. And Scott intercepts. To Rose. To Broadhead. Broadhead, what can he do? Oh, really long ball out to the other side, to Giorgio. To Samuel. Samuel, what can he do? He's in the box now. He goes for the shot and their keeper parries it out. Good first introduction there for our new striker. As the ball was just going to get whipped in now by Randall. And it gets headed away. And it goes out for a throw in. Come on guys, 15 minutes left. We can get back into this. As we've now had our 20th shot. Twice as many as Millwall. And we've had 8 on target. And 54% of possession. We really should be at least level. As it's Worrell, Wallace. To Morrison in, in, in a quite a bit of space. There he goes for the shot and he scored. Two games in a row we've conceded three. We really should not be losing this game. It is just their strikers being more clinical. 
and just taking their chances as it was Wallace with a pass through to Morrison and Morrison in not too much space there but day 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 oh my days oh, it's us with a restart Congolo now on the ball to Samuel to Randall to Scott to Randall again to Samuel Samuel with a shot and that's poor I really cannot understand why these players are going for the long shots even though I have got a suit on site selected that might explain why they're doing that so that is possibly on me Scott Giorgio with a long shot and over the bar 10 minutes left it's looking like it's going to be another defeat but it is Millwall the team above us who as much as I hate they were the favourites to win this game and so just one more goal just to give us a little bit more respect would be nice five minutes left as they've got a free kick Thompson lobs it into about row double Z and yeah four minutes left two minutes left two minutes of extra time and it's their man with a throw in with half a minute left not not a terrible performance today I don't think I don't think you can say we've lost but we're, I don't think we've deserved to lose by two goals we have played quite well I am going to persevere with this 4-2-3-1 just for the next six seven eight games at least at least I'd at least till I get into a similar position as what I was in Brentford if that does happen I, I will of course be changing but the pressure here shouldn't be as high the board are only wanting us to avoid relegation so hopefully I should at least be able to bring you a whole series a whole series of a whole season and yeah there goes the final whistle lost 3-1 but I'm going to tell the lads even though despite we lost I'm quite happy with it I'm quite happy with that we, we were the underdogs and you gave it your best and yep and they're all happy and so yeah that is where I'm going to leave it for today guys I hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please leave a thumbs up down below and feel free to, to subscribe to the channel and yeah I'll be back tomorrow with another game let's just have a look at what that will be I'm thinking probably the Cheltenham or the Cheltenham and the Doncaster game possibly even the Swansea game in the, in the, in the checker trade nonsense and so yeah like I say if you've enjoyed that game if you enjoyed the video please leave me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel I am Bad Jokes FM